predation involves two different organisms in a positive-negative interaction. So one organism benefits while the other organism suffers costs. So to define predation, predation is when one species eats another. So that means there is a predator and a prey involved. So the predator is the one that eats the other species, while the prey is the one that's being eaten. So here's an example, like the lynx, which eats the hare. The lynx is the predator, and the hare is the prey. Or another example, the bear eats berries. So the bear is the predator, whereas the berries are the prey. So you can see from these two examples that the prey can either be a plant or an animal and it will both be considered predation. Over time, many animals and plants species have evolved different defenses to protect themselves against their predators. There are active defenses that animals have learned over time such as hiding, running, or defending themselves, but these all cost energy. So there are other passive defenses that involve morphological and physiological adaptions. adaptations. So there are four main passive defenses, and these are cryptic coloration, aposematic co uh, coloration, Batesian mimicry, and Mullerian mimicry. So cryptic coloration, also known as camouflage, is when an organism's physical characteristics look like its surroundings. So you can see in this picture that this insect bug type thing has adapted to look like the leaf that it lives on and so it makes this organism harder to spot and predators can't see it as easily. Aposematic coloration is when poisonous organisms use bright colors to warn off predators, particularly red and orange. Because of this organism's distinct coloration, predators learn to avoid them. So this frog is colored with red and orange on its head. And so predators learn after a while that these frogs are dangerous because they contain poisons. And they learn to avoid anything with red and orange. So then there are the two types of mimicry. A posomatic, or sorry, Batesian mimicry is a copycat type of coloration. So that's when a harmless organism, like this viceroy butterfly, will copy a harmful organism, like this monarch butterfly. And so it, you can tell from these two butterflies that they're very, very slight differences. But to a predator, it's really hard to tell which one is the real one, because monarch butterflies aren't very tasty and they're kind of poisonous, whereas viscerary butterflies are tasty and are completely harmless. But to a predator who knows the monarch butterfly is dangerous, they may not be able to recognize that the viscerary butterfly is different from the monarch butterfly. So Mullerian mimicry is when multiple poisonous organisms mimic each other and this gives them the advantage of combined numbers so predators learn more quickly to avoid organisms with that particular appearance and that's why bees and yellow jackets look so similar so just remember that predation is between the predator and the prey and the prey often has evolved to have passive defenses to avoid the predator.